Hi friends! Today we're going to be doing my TBR for the Spookathon. The Spookathon is a readathon that is hosted by Lala at Books and Lala, and I will link her announcement video in the description box below. And also, I'll have all of the challenges listed down there as well. So, if you're interested in participating, you'll have all the information that you need. It runs from October 14th to the 20th. This one is one of the really low key readathons that I absolutely love because if I just read one book this week, I can probably hit most, if not all, of the challenges. But I did pick a book for each challenge, and I'm gonna go over those with you. No. The first challenge is to read a thriller and for that I chose If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. This book is one of Lala's favorites and it follows a group of people 10 years after. I believe there was a murder in their theater group and basically they all were deemed innocent but maybe they weren't as innocent as they were proclaimed to be um, and it just follows them um, 10 years later and the past and trying to figure out what happened and how it happened. Next is to read a book with red on the cover and I'm really stretching it with this one. I chose There's Something Out There by PJ Knight. This is the fifth book. You have the fifth book in the Creepover series. I feel like we're all close. Right there in this young lady's hand is a red soda can. Most of the colors on this are pink. Pink is kind of the, the theme color for the Creepover series. The soda cans, there's another one right here. But the soda cans are red and I am going with it. Again, this is the fifth book in the series. I have been really enjoying them. They're kids mid-grade. They're pretty easy to get through, um, but they're fun and creepy and I like them. Next is to read a book with a spooky word in the title and for that I chose Resurrection Girls by Ava Morgan. This is an arc that I have that follows two girls. I don't know the entire plot but I know that they basically write letters to people that are on death row in jail. Sounded super interesting so going for it. Next is to read a book with a spooky setting and for that I chose Ghost House by Alexandra A. Donetto. I have had this on my shelves for a while. It's one of those things that I just never pick up because it's like a spooky read and I'm like oh I'm saving that for October and then October comes around and I start reading 900,000 other things and I never get to it. This involves like a spooky house in England and some spooky woods and so spooky setting. And then the fifth challenge is to read a book you wouldn't normally read and for that I chose A Madness So Discreet by Mindy McGinnis. This is the group read for Beautifully Bookish Bethany's Patreon book club and I really probably wouldn't have ever read it if it wasn't the book club pick. I'd never really heard of it before. It's historical fiction. I don't know when in history it was but it was earlier in time. Um, a teenage girl is pregnant and because what they did at the time was they basically sent her to an insane asylum and she has to help the person who runs the asylum figure out who a murderer is and solve a mass murderer or something. So again, something I wouldn't typically read so that's what I chose for that. So these are the three books and then some that I will be reading during the Spookathon. If you've read any of these, let me know in the comments below how you felt about them and if you are planning on participating in the Spookathon, let me know that as well. I would love to check out your TBRs and to see what everybody's reading because I love spooky books and I should read them more than just in October and I'm gonna have to start doing that because I have a lot of them and I need to get to them because they probably take up about half of my TBR. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends. If you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future make sure you subscribe and until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!